Hello, this is the um, second of two, chapter 11, free response practice problems, number four from 2013. So we've got this situation where they're tracking each group of people and asking them this question about, do you consume five or more servings of vegetables, yes or no? Um, we've got a two-way table here, and we're supposed to do something about convincing statistical evidence, which again means a four-step test. This time, since there's two categories in, and you know, three categories here and two of the categories there, two-way table means it's either homogeneity or independent. And I'm going to look for clues in the problem about which type it is. Um, here's one of the clues is, is there an association? And that means it might be independent, but once in a while we use that word for homogeneity. So I'm also going to check and make sure they have one sample um, and two variables. So yes, we have this we have a single random sample of this many adults and they were grouped by age and they're also grouped by their answer to the question. That is two popula or two variables and one population. It's independent. It's an independent chi-square test. So that's your first step is to figure out which type of test it is. Um, eight. So I'm going to write my null hypothesis as an independent null hypothesis. Um, there is an association would be the alternate. So the null would be there is no association, or we could say they're independent. I would rather just say there's no association because that's so much like what they said here. There's no association. Between age group. and vegetable consumption, <laughs> fruit and vegetable consumption. And remember, if we were doing homogeneity, we would write this slightly differently. We would say something about the different age groups all have the same probability of the proportion of people who eat fruits and vegetables. Um, and that would be if we had gathered separate samples from each age group. What we didn't do, they gathered one sample and then they categorized two ways. Alternate is what they're asking us to prove. There is an association. And you could finish the sentence if you want, or you could just put a dot, 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 and that is also fine. We're going to do alpha equals 0.05. This time I'll remember it at the beginning. And that is all you have to do for state plan. We're going to say it's a chi-square test of independence, or you could call it a test of association if you want to. They're both the same thing. We're going to check for randomness. Random sample of that many. That's a huge example, by the way. Yes, given right up there. So cool. And put an arrow if it makes you happy, which is what I would do. Um, large counts. Remember, we have to check the expected counts. They look to me like they're going to be huge, but I'm just going to make sure by doing the smallest one. So I'm just going to say, yes, I know it's going to be true, but the smallest e, let's prove it. Smallest e is, remember, it's the smallest of the row totals, 972, times the smallest of the column totals, divided by the grand total. And I'll figure out what that is, but I know it's going to be bigger than 5. Divided by 8, Yep, it's 240.2, and yes, it's bigger than 5. No problem. And then independent. This always seems weird to me that we're doing a test of independence, and yet we have an independent condition. The independent condition is about whether we can um, take a sample of this size from our population and assume that each one is not changing the probabilities when you draw it. Um, and that's the 10% rule. So yes, 8866 is definitely less than 10% of all U.S. adults. That's my population. I'm just thinking about my population and is it that big? Yes, of course it is that big. Do, once again, we want to find chi-squared. We want to um, do the observed minus expected thing. I'm going to do the first one, 231 
minus this 240.2 that I just found squared over 240.2, and then we would do uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then we get to do 5 more of these. Um, I'm just going to put the dot, dot, dot because I want to jump to the calculator thing. Remember with this kind you put it in a matrix, so second matrix, and I already put the data in. This is the same as what's in the table. Check my work if you like. Um, and then stat tests and a chi-score test that's not GLF. Not good enough to fit. And leave those like they are. The calculator will fill in table B or matrix B, I mean, with the expected values. So I got chi-squared equals 8.98. Um, I could at this point go back and, and fill in another of these since it just calculated the values. I just want to show you that. It's kind of a shortcut. Um, I could ask it to show me matrix B, and I could see that the second expected value is 731.8. And so I could go ahead and um, show off my formula knowledge a little bit more by doing 731.8 squared over 731.8, and then my dot, dot, dot. Uh, just if I were taking the AP test, I probably would do that. Um, so back to what we just got from our test. I forgot to write down the p-value. The p-value was 0 0.0112. P, we would find it if we were doing it the long way, we would do chi square CDS of 8.98 and 9.99. And the DF, remember you cross off a row and a column and leave off the totals completely. There's the two left. DF is two. By the way, my calculator shortcut also told me that DF is 2, and it matches them. And I got a P of 0 0.011, which is significant. So conclude, um, we, since P is 0 0.011P, which is less than 0 0.05, we reject the null. You can put the context either on the null or the alternate. This time I think I'll put it on the alternate. Reject the null and conclude that it's perfectly okay to say and then put your context in the second part of the sentence. So and conclude that whatever they said up there, there is an association. Between age group and I forgot to put consumption up here, but I meant to say it. Fruit and vegetable consumption. And then sometimes they might ask you to go one step further and figure out who is eating more vegetables and who is not. We are not going to do that right now because they didn't ask that, but you could look at the expected counts and see which ones are higher than the expected and which ones are lower than the expected um, and find out who's eating more veggies. But you don't have to do that if they don't ask for it. So that's it for that question.